Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot. In today's video, you'll learn the basics of WordPress speed optimization and how to boost your score in Google PageSpeed Insights. So if that sounds interesting, then keep watching. So in our previous video, we set up a basic website using the Cadence theme on WordPress, and we were getting really nice, nearly perfect scores in Google PageSpeed Insights. So this main page was giving us a 98 on the mobile tab, a 98 on the desktop, and the services page did really well, perfect 100 on mobile. So excellent scores. If you wanted to test this method out for yourself, you could do a free trial with Cloudways or Vulture or Linode. I've got tutorials to all of those. I'll put those in the description. You can get exactly the same results that I've gotten here. But the purpose of today's video is to take you through the general steps that you can take on any WordPress website to improve its Google page speed score. So it basically comes down to four main steps. And the first one is having good hosting. If you've got garbage web hosting, you'll never get a really nice score. It has to be at least decent. Um, I've had the best results using Cloudways, uh, Vulture, Linode. Kinsta is also really good, um, a little bit pricier. If you want the cheapest, fastest one, Vulture $6 high frequency is um, the pick of the bunch, I think. Linode does a good $5 option, but this Vulture $6 high frequency is outstanding. If you want a more managed, uh, a more managed experience cloudways um, starting from ten dollars is excellent as well so any of these will do an excellent job you will need a fast theme so it definitely makes things easier if you're using something like cadence astra bloxy generate plus hello theme all those do really well this is very lightweight simple themes that don't bloat your website Step three is page caching and script optimization. Now this is usually done with a plugin. The best one I have tested is WP Rocket. Now that one's not free. I didn't actually use it in the example, but um, I have had the best success in the past using WP Rocket, but I know a lot of you love having a free solution. Um, Total Cache does a really good job. Lightspeed Cache comes with your Lightspeed server if you're on Lightspeed hosting. So um, that one's really good as well. And there are other options. We'll talk about that a bit later. And finally, step four, image optimization. You just wanna make sure all the website's images are the correct size and compression to match the screen that the viewer is using. There's plenty of plugins that do this automatically. You've got Imagify, Short Pixel, Ooh, and Smoosh. There's probably a few others, but these are the most popular ones at the moment. In the case of our example website, I actually used uh, Imagify, the free version. Works quite well on a small website. Uh, Auto-optimize, I used to do the CSS and JavaScript optimization. And this server that I set up on Linode actually has page caching on the server side. So I didn't need a caching thing like Rocket or um, Total Cache or anything like that. It does include Nginx Helper um, if you're using this Nginx Fast CGI that I'm using on this server. So this doesn't actually do any caching. All it does is clears the cache when you update a page or a post just to make sure um, everything's up to date. You can check out the caching plugins on the WordPress repository, just going plugins and add new. If you search for cache, you'll see the most popular ones. So uh, W3 Total Cache was the highest performing uh, free option that I tested. I tested all these plugins a while ago. Um, I'll link to that video in the description as well. Uh, this one did really well. Uh, Lightspeed Cache is good. Like I said before, you'll already get that automatically if you're using Lightspeed Hosting, so you'll know about it. It'll probably be sitting in that menu already. Otherwise, um, this one's really good. Um, WP Supercache is by Automatic. Those are the guys behind WordPress.com. So this is going to be the best in terms of its compatibility and uh, usability with the most number of plugins. Its compatibility would be the best, but I did get slightly better performance um, using this one. And in this case, I actually went with uh, auto-optimize because I didn't need page caching. Like I said before, my server does the page caching. All I needed was the script optimization. So for JavaScript and CSS optimization. So that is what auto-optimize is good for. Um, extremely popular optimization plugin. So that's what I use today. Fairly simple setup as well. Again, I've shown the basic setup for most of these in my previous video, which I will link to. Um, but just what I use today on auto-optimize, nothing special here. I just went through the um, JavaScript and CSS settings here. Um, you just want to optimize and aggregate your scripts. So those are the first two options there. CSS, again, optimize, aggregate, uh, inline, and URIs for images. You can get some benefit from the critical CSS tab. That is a premium feature. I didn't use it today. Because I'm using Cadence, um, I don't need to tick that button. You can get pretty much the same result in the Cadence customizer. It gives you a CSS preload that is um, under your uh, general. 
and performance and you've got these performance options so those are the things i turned on for my website here really cool of cadence to just include these options in the theme customizer so even in the free version really great job from those guys and for the image optimization, I used Magify, just used the free version there, very popular option. I used to use Smush quite a lot. This was quite good as well. And I know Short Pixel and Ooh are very popular too. These all do pretty similar functions. So just pick your favorite one and run with it. Um, whatever works for you is probably gonna be fine. In this case, I didn't spend too much time on Magify. I just hit the ultra button there and tick the first two options. Um, created the WebP versions, uh, resized the images, and that was pretty much it. Um, save and went to the bulk optimizer and the plugin did the rest. During the setup, you do need to get an API key, which you plug into the account key there. Pretty simple, it takes you through that when you set up the plugin. I'm not gonna go through that here, it's very simple. So for a simple website, we've just I've just got six plugins here. You can get really nice results just using um, one optimization plugin and one image plugin. So that, that was all there was to it. If you've got a more complex site and you need more optimization features, I'd probably recommend testing out WP Rocket. That is an excellent option for some of the heavier websites I've built. I've made good use of WP Rocket. One other really cool feature you can add to any WordPress website is Cloudflare CDN edge caching as well. You can add that onto most WordPress websites. And the free version of Cloudflare is extremely generous. You can get good performance boosts like I've shown in my previous videos. I'll link those in the description too. If you wanna add Cloudflare edge caching to your site, uh, you can add this one as well, WP Cloudflare Super Page Cache. Now this is compatible with the free version of Cloudflare. It's also compatible with um, W3 Total Cache, Lightspeed Cache, Auto Optimize, and WP Rocket. So you can combine um, this one with several of these other optimization options to give you um, some cloud-based edge caching as well, which can be great if you've got uh, viewers who are spread across the world who are far from your where your website is hosted. You can actually load your site onto all of these cloud servers around the world and you'll get very nice performance boost from Cloudflare. And finally, just on some WordPress websites, it can be just a time consuming hassle trying to optimize everything perfectly. And for some of us, our time is too valuable. It's worth just going and getting a freelancer to do the optimization for you. It's often fairly cheap. Um, for example, over on Fiverr.com, they've got the top rated seller that already has over 2000 jobs. And it's not especially expensive to uh, just get a freelancer to do the optimization for you. I'll link those in the description as well, because sometimes your time is just too precious to do this trial and error process on a complicated WordPress site. Finally, if you've tried everything and you just need to change web hosts, and get higher performing web hosts. I'll put my two favorite uh, hosting tutorial setups here. You've got Cloudways and you've got direct setup with Vulture. Vulture is a bit cheaper, but a little bit more complicated. Cloudways is fully managed, a little bit more expensive, but excellent options right there. Check those out. Free trials for both in the description as well. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.